What are the visible elements of a mobile network such as the 4G network? Are there other elements that I don't see? These are the questions we will answer in this video. We know the first element. Well, because we carry it with us. It's the terminal, the cell phone or smartphone, like this one. This terminal is called a UE for user equipment in the LT standard. Within the framework of this course, a terminal can be referred to either as a UE or a cell phone. To work, it must be equipped with a SIM card inserted in it. The SIM or subscriber identity module contains the subscriber identity unique throughout the world. It also contains data about the subscription. In France, the SIM card is property of the operator. This card is called a U-SIM or Universal Subscriber Identity Module in 3G or 4G. However, in the videos, we use the acronym SIM because it is simpler and often used indifferently for 2G, 3G and 4G. The SIM card is found in equipment such as a smartphone, but it can also be found in a 4G key or a router that I can connect to my laptop in order to have mobile internet access on my laptop. In this course, we are not going to differentiate between types of terminals. All terminals will be treated identically. Obviously, the network is not limited to that. If we walk in the street, we see antennas on the roofs of buildings like this one, or on towers like this one. With a zoom, we can clearly see the antennas. In some cases, it's a bit more difficult to see. But here, we have an antenna on this church. If we zoom in, we can clearly see the antennas on the bell tower of the church. If we pay very close attention, in some cases, what we see is this. Antennas on a mast. And beside it, a technical cabinet. What we see are antennas. In other words, a radiating device that transforms high frequency alternating current into electromagnetic waves or the other way around. In the technical cabinet, if we open the door, we see a set of transceivers that will enable radio transmission between the terminal, which is also a transceiver, and the network. So, we have two things that are very different. A base station, that is to say a set of transceivers, which is located in a place to cover the area around it, and the antenna, which is, so to speak, the tip of the iceberg, the radiating device. Terminals around the base station can communicate with the base station by radio transmission. In 4G technology, a base station is called an inode B. E for evolved, to indicate there has been an evolution in relation to the previous generation. Node to indicate it's inserted in a network. And B for base station. A mobile network isn't limited to antennas. It's a group of base stations spread out over a territory. The base stations are connected to an IP network deployed by the cell phone operator. This 
network is interconnected to the internet, to the IP networks of other operators via one or several routers. We'll get into the details in other videos. We have two subnetworks, the access network and the core network. The access network is made up of the set of inner bees because they are connected to the same IP network, they can communicate with each other. In the standard, the access network is called EUTRAN for Evolved Universal Territorial Radio Access Network. Apart from that, we have the core of the network, which is called EPC for Evolved Packet Core. We have seen the EUTRAN network, which in 4G is relatively simple. There is a single type of equipment, the INAT-B. We'll see in the other videos what makes up the EPC. In summary, in a 4G mobile network, there is a set of inert bees spread out over a large territory. Each inert bee is equipped with antennas. Inert bees are connected to an IP network and make the access network. 